What's up guys, welcome back to my channel Foundry RC, the best place to feed your need for everything RC. Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to do the update on my 5TS Max. Let's uh, go ahead and flip this camera on here and show you what's going on with that. Alright guys, so as you can see here, something's not right. I actually was uh, doing some testing off video and I broke it. So I'm going to be taking it apart off video because I want to get it back together as quick as possible because I have a lot of videos planned for this. But uh, I just want to show you what I did, show you how I did it, and uh, yeah, well I can't show you how, I, like I said I wasn't recording. I was uh, putting a tune on the engine, just running back and forth, and I end up hitting a fence that was dividing two fields in the back. I misjudged uh, my distance and I caught the wheel on the fence and then I had quite a bit of torque behind it and as you can see right here let's see if this angle shows it better so I actually went and snapped the chassis now this is exactly why you want to put one of those steel plates on if I would have had that on there this probably would not have happened but yeah it snapped right there this whole thing's twisted and let me see if I can show you on this side it's a little dark over here so it's hard to see it but on this side you can see it snapped over there too so I pretty much sheared the whole front of the chassis off of the car let's take the zoom off not too wide there we go so yeah she's all twisted up inside here I'm hoping I did not bend the shock tower or the, the brace or any of these other pieces. Um, I can see, let me take this cover off here. This makes it a little bit easier to see because I didn't take it apart yet. But from the top down view, this does look bent. I'm kind of hoping it's not, but it's probably just attached to it. But it's possible I might have bent uh, these uprights over here, the front plate and this. I definitely snapped some plastic over here. Let's see. Sorry, it's hard to manipulate this and hold the camera at the same time and get it in here where you can see it. But you can see right here, this is snapped off. Um, this piece here is broken on the other side. Let's see if we can see it over here. Yeah, you can see this is snapped right there. And a couple other things. It's, it's overall not that bad. The only problem is since the chassis I pretty much got to take the whole front to the midsection off. Um, I've never actually done it before. I don't know if I have to take the rear. It looks like the engine and everything can stay based on where it is, but that's it on that. Um, the tires, as you can see, I have the stock tires back on. So in a previous video, I mentioned how I had a problem with the tires and I was going to let you know about it. So the problem I had was, turn this camera around. Okay, so the problem I had was the foams were falling apart inside. Um, I'll take a picture and put that over here so you can see it. Be up in the corner or something. But yeah, the foams were crumbling. They ripped apart on one of them. And my tires were ballooning like you wouldn't believe. I mean, they were bigger than my problem muscle truck tires while I was going with this thing. And uh, that was with the stock everything. Before I even changed the pipe, that first run you did where it says first run, that happened that day. I put the truck in the car and I'm looking at it and it's like I have a flat tire. It's sitting flat on the on the car. I'm like, what's going on with this? So I pick it up and sure enough, it was completely flat. There was foam on one side, none on the other. And the little ballooning of the tires that it did. I think I also put too much strain on my clutch and I ended up burning out a clutch. And then I tried, once I put the pipe on with those same tires, and I burnt out another clutch. So I uh, got the new, I called up Roman. I uh, reached out to Dan and I let him know what was going on. And he apologized. He said, you know, I probably got a bad batch. You know, it happens every, every now and then something's going to go wrong. Somebody, not everybody's going to get something perfect. But uh, he did good customer support, took care of the problem, gave me four new tires, put them on, ran the truck. Beautiful. No problems, no ballooning, everything how it should. I actually think I'm still going to open them up and put some tape on them, put some Gorilla Tape around the foams, just so, for peace of mind, so, you know, it holds better together. 
But other than, other than that, that was the problem I have with the tires. I still do not plan to keep these tires on there. I actually do prefer those smaller tires I was running. And that's what I will put back on there. But for testing, because I assume you guys would like to see that, I'm going to keep these tires on and do all the testing with that. Then I'm going to take the tires off and put my other tires on. Which will lose a little bit of the top end because of the smaller tire. But overall, I like the smaller tires better. If you're going to pick one of these trucks up, that's what I suggest you pick up. I also got a pair of sand paddles finally. So I'm going to actually test those out too. Lots of new things come with this truck. I, I, I don't even want to tell you yet. Just stay tuned. There's going to be lots of videos with this truck. Where I'm going to test out all different things. And I'll tell you what happens. Alright, other than that, a little update to my channel. I got a severe case of gas. Okay, so yeah, I have a real severe case of gas. And this is not the gas I'm talking about. That's the gas I'm talking about. Gear acquisition syndrome. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm big into gear. I was always a tech guy. I do the computers, which I mentioned before. That's my giant computer in the corner, my other project computer working on. And uh, my wife decided to invest in me and she bought me a gift. So I got myself some proper equipment. I got myself a Canon EOS R. Um, that was all from B&H Photo. Thanks to the guys at B&H Photo for helping me out with everything. I picked up another one of these tripods over here. This is what I actually use on the iPhone. And I lost it somewhere, so I don't have it no more. I've been using just handheld. <clears throat> Got a whole bunch of memory cards, a lens cleaner, some three extra battery packs, a remote. That was a cleaning kit. This is the lens I picked up because I, I didn't go with the kit version of the camera, which I might decide to do that later. I, I really haven't figured that part out. I got a, a filter for the <clears throat> for the lens it came with. I picked up this guy right here, which is for my iPad because, believe it or not, I've been doing a lot of editing on my iPads lately. So, uh... Maybe I'll do a video showing you guys how I edit my videos. Yeah, let me know if you want to see that in the comments down below, and I'll, I'll maybe I'll do a little tutorial. And then, of course, I picked up a gimbal because I have a gimbal for the phone, and it's great for taking B-roll and some other shots. So I picked up a gimbal, and that's the microphone I already had, which I was not using because it was a little too powerful for the phone. I couldn't dial it where I wanted, so I was always planning to get the camera. That's why I bought that mic. And uh, now I have a camera to put it on. All right, that's pretty much it. So uh, look forward to a change in the quality of my videos. Hopefully I can figure out how to use this stuff. It's been a long time since I've been in the photography and filmmaking stuff. But uh, I'm, I'm very excited for new things to come. And uh, I really want to push this channel forward as much as I can. And hey, this is going to help the quality look just a little bit better. All right. All right, guys, that's the little update I got. I'm going to get to work on this. I got to take it apart tomorrow. I'm actually going to go to Roven and see if I can pick up all the parts to put it back together to get it up and running for you again. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, if you liked it, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. You know, I have lots of interesting stuff coming out. If you like gas RC cars, I do some have some electric. I have not done them in a while. But eventually I'll get around to those again too. Like I said, my channel is Everything RC. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.